A few weeks back, I unboxed and took a first look at the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. After using it and testing it for quite some time now, it's time to give this motherboard the full review treatment. What's going on guys, Gizmodict here and this is the full review of the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard. In my previous video, I covered the unboxing and gave a visual tour of this motherboard. So if you guys want to check it out, the video is linked in the description box. Coming to the full review, first I'm going to talk about the BIOS of this motherboard. The Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard features an easy to use UEFI BIOS layout which is similar to the Z87 motherboard series. The interface is very easy to use and you can navigate and choose various options inside the BIOS by just using your mouse. Upon clicking the left hand corner, you can get all the performance tweaking options that you can do with this motherboard. I will be coming back to these options in a later section of my video. And in case you don't like this new layout, you can always press the F2 button to switch to the traditional BIOS layout. This motherboard also supports the dual BIOS feature. So in case you mess up the BIOS settings of your motherboard, you can just flick the BIOS switch on the motherboard to enter the other backup BIOS. Gigabyte also bundles a lot of useful software with this motherboard. The Gigabyte App Center offers a lot of useful apps which allows you to tweak various settings of your motherboard from within the operating system. There are also some other notable apps like Cloud Station, Game Controller and Fast Boot which are quite useful for your PC. Since the Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard is targeted at gamers, it should have all the overclocking and performance tweaking features. And this motherboard does a very decent job in this area. Within the BIOS, you can tweak almost anything you want and you get a lot of options for overclocking. You can easily choose all the different options you want and overclock your system the way you want to. I am using an Intel i7-4770K processor and the highest overclock that I could get was about 4.6GHz and I had a stable system at about 4.4GHz. These values might vary for different users as the Haswell chips are very poor overclockers and moreover, I did my testing with a single radiator liquid cooler. One thing that you should keep in mind while overclocking with this motherboard is that don't keep the V-in voltage at auto. This is because the motherboard will supply more voltage than required during an overclock and this will lead to higher CPU core temperatures. So before you overclock, make sure that you control your voltages manually. Otherwise, there are no issues with overclocking on this motherboard and luckily if you get a good Haswell chip, this motherboard will overclock it very well. Now I'm going to show you a few synthetic and gaming benchmarks that I did with this motherboard. Feel free to pause the video to check out the scores. So overall, the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard is a great choice for gamers. It comes with the Z97 Intel chipset so you can get full support for Haswell, Haswell Refresh and the future Broadwell CPUs, along with things like SATA M2 and SATA Express. The motherboard is also priced very well, it offers a lot of features and it even comes with a good amount of warranty. The audio and the networking features are great for gamers on this motherboard. And I also think that this motherboard looks very nice. There has been a lot of talk online where people are not liking the new red and black color scheme, but I like it and it's going to depend on personal preference. The only gripe that I have with the design is that the Gigabyte logo on the PCB gets covered by the GPU. So overall, if you're looking for a motherboard in the under $200 range, I'd be more than happy to recommend the Gigabyte Z97X Gaming 7 motherboard to you. The links to buy this motherboard are in the video's description and I would really like to thank Gigabyte India for supporting the channel. Please like the video if you liked it and for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. 
You can also follow Gizmo Dict on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for more technology updates. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.